Hello students, I am Ranjana Raj, your chemistry teacher. I am going to teach you first chapter, matter. So take out your books, copy, pen and pencil. So my dear children, are you ready? So let us start. First question arises, what is matter? Matter, anything that occupies Anything that occupies space and has mass and may be perceived by our senses is called matter. Now what is the meaning of perceiving by our senses? Means when you touch, you may feel it. Or like, okay, so that is called matter. Now few things are there which are exceptional cases and they are not matter. They are heat light, electricity and sound. They are the forms of energy. Now, classification of matter. My dear children, I hope you must be knowing, you have studied in class 7, that matter is made up of smallest particle called atom. And atoms combine together to form molecules. So, on the basis of arrangement of atoms we have three main categories of matter they are solid liquid gas in solid the atoms are very closely packed in liquid the atoms are little far apart and in gases they are far very very far apart now in class 8 you are going to study to more classification of matter. They are plasma and BC. Plasma exists at very high temperature. BC full form, it is given in the book, please see. Bose-Einstein state or Bose-Einstein condensate. In short, we call it BEC. It exists at very low temperature. Plasma exists at high temperature and BC at very low temperature. Now, I hope you know the examples of solids like pen, pencil, notebook here we have, liquid water, alcohol, kerosene oil, gases, carbon dioxide, oxygen, etc. Now turn your page. Now, let us come to the kinetic molecular theory of matter. It states that atoms and molecules possess an energy of motion called kinetic energy. What does it mean? It means that the atoms present in the matter, they have energy and they have motion. So they move, but just see solid. In solids, they, the atoms are slow, clo closely packed. That Do you think that they can move? No. They just vibrate in their own place. In liquid, they are little far apart. So they move. And in gases, they, the vibration is rapid. Now let us study postulates of kinetic theory which states, please take, out, take your pencil and keep on underlining what I say. All matter is made up of tiny particles called atoms that are joined to form molecules. These particles, second point, these particles are in constant motion. Just now I told you that is they possess kinetic energy. Molecular motion is random. Point four. Particles in motion possess kinetic energy. There is an exchange of energy between particles during a collision between them. What does it mean? Exchange of energy means we will study little later that the 
there is a conversion of matter into different forms when either they get temperature or pressure it whether increase or decrease of temperature or pressure okay that we will study little later particles in gases do not exert large forces on each other unless they are in collision with each other collisions between these particles are elastic means they don't stop they keep on moving molecular motion is greatest in gases less in liquids and least in solids solids retain a fixed volume and shape why because the atoms are closely packed so we have a shape pen we say it is a cylindrical shape okay liquid assumes the shape of the container what does it mean that it shape shape take the shape of the container if you put water in a glass it will take the shape of the glass if you put water in a bowl it will take the shape of the bowl gases assume the shape and volume of their containers and will expand to fill containers of any size so ultimately we come to the conclusion that matter have intermolecular space what is intermolecular space space between two atoms is called intermolecular space they have force of attraction they have force of attraction between each other and they are in continuous random motion so these are the main three points or you can say the three main postulates of kinetic theory now come to the second part of the chapter change changes of state of matter this is a very common example that you must have observed at home if you take out ice from the refrigerator after some time it changes to water and if it is heated it it changes to steam so what do you observe a same matter changes from solid to liquid and gas but something must be applied to it for the change and that is possible only when there is change in temperature increase or decrease in pressure or changing both temperature and pressure these th three things can only change the state of matter now i just told you that solid changes to liquid and liquid changes to gas it can happen vice versa gas can again change back to water and then to ice this is called inter conversion of states of matter what is this it states the phenomenon of change from one state of matter to another and then back to the original state is called inter conversion of states of matter now let us focus children of this diagram this diagram you please see see solid is changing to liquid this is called melting or fusion so if you have to if you have to define melting what you will say melting melting is a process of change of solid to liquid at a particular temperature now from liquid to gas it is called evaporation or vaporization from gas to liquid condensation or liquefaction and from liquid to solid solidification or freezing from solid to liquid and liquid to gas we need to increase the temperature from gas to liquid and liquid to solid we need to decrease the temperature now there is one more interconversion of states of matter solid directly changing to gas this is called sublimation so how will you define sublimation sublimation is a process in which solid directly changes to gas this you must have seen camphor in hindi we say kapoor 
when it burns it directly changes to gases or naphthalene balls ammonium chloride these are the examples of sublimating substance and when gas changes to solid it is called deposition this diagram is very important it is given in your question also you have to draw in your copy now now further i will teach you in the next class so be healthy be happy and read the chapter thoroughly okay and if any doubts we can discuss when the school reopens thank you children